the problem is, is that chickens hide it so well. And so sometimes you won't notice until it's too late. And I don't want that to happen to you. So let's talk about it. <coughs> Hello, friends. Welcome to Chickenlandia. My name is Dahlia. I'm a backyard chicken educator, also known as the president of Chickenlandia. Raising chickens has been the best way for me to find peace and joy in my life. And I wanna help you find that too. I am like in a completely different area right now <laughs> because it is so hot. So I'm here with Broody Binky. I'm probably gonna have to put her away in a minute because she's super cranky. <laughs> Every day I go outside to my chicken yard to take care of my chickens. When I am out there with my chickens, I observe them. I, you know, watch their their little individual personalities to see how each of them acts. I've been doing this ever since they were babies, if I had them since they were baby chicks. And not only is this practice, and you know what? I'm gonna have to go put you away. I'm gonna have to go put you away. But let me get through this first, first part. <laughs> not only is this practice good for me because it's just like a ritual that I do every day. It helps me with my stress and all that. But it's also good for my chickens because I can look at each of them and look at their behavior and know if something is off or not. Like recently I had a little tiny teeny chicken. Her name is Boop. She's one of my old English chickens and she was walking funny and she was kind of just, I don't know, she was like acting different and I just noticed something is off and sure enough she had this huge huge egg and I mean this egg was like probably weighed as much as she did that she was really having a problem laying and so I had to bring her inside okay honey I had to bring her inside put her in a quiet area so she could just concentrate on laying that egg and she ended up laying it I didn't have to do anything else and then I was able to get her out with the flock but if I didn't already know her behavior I may not have been able to recognize that as quickly and that was a very serious situation she could have died Okay, I'm taking you back to, I'm putting you back with the flock. I'll be right back. <laughs> So all this just to, you know, just kind of drive home the importance of it for you to know your flock. That is gonna be your first line of defense. If you know your flock and you know what their behavior is, you'll be able to recognize it. I mean, I have chickens, frizzles, and silkies that sleep on the floor of my coop, and they sleep on the floor of my coop every single night. But if I had a, another chicken that didn't normally do that, and all of a sudden they're sleeping on the floor of the coop, you know, I would be looking at them like, okay, something's wrong. If I didn't know their normal behavior, I wouldn't know that something was wrong. So here are some other ways that you can tell if your chicken is sick. The main way is just that they will be sitting, you know, kind of just standing, looking listless, wings droopy, maybe they're comb is a little bit pale, maybe it's a little bit shriveled. And I like to say, you know, even when chickens are still, it's like they're, they're moving, you know, they're always like, you, know, <laughs> you can, kind of, can kind of see just that movement about them all the time. They're always looking for food. They're always kind of looking out at their surroundings. If they are moving slower than they normally do, maybe they're running to their treats, but they're not, you know, you're watching them and they're not actually eating any treats. That's another indication that something is going wrong and you need to, at the very least, observe that chicken carefully. If not, bring them in immediately and start with the rest method, which which I will talk about more here in a minute. Definitely if they're like hunched over and puffed up. Uh, sometimes chickens will do that when it's really cold outside, but they should recover. Like if you come up to them and you know, they'll, they'll be like, oh, and they'll kind of recover from that. But if they look like that and it's not cold outside, that's another indication that they are not doing well and you need to take action. Sinus drainage from their nares or from their eyes. If there's any swelling going on in the face, that is a serious situation. They're struggling with something, probably respiratory or something going on, you know, some, maybe something stuck in their, in their sinuses. That is an indication that something is going wrong. If you pick them up and they seem very thin and it really with their um, breastbone, like super pronounced, you can always feel the breastbone, but if it's very, very pronounced and they feel very thin, that is a problem. Loss of color in the face or in the comb 
could be an indication that something is going on. Not all the time, because you know, if a chicken is broody, they're gonna lose some color in the face and the comb. In the winter, they can lose, or when they're molting, they can lose some of that color. When they're actively laying, you'll see like a nice red face, big red comb. And there are times of the year when that might be different. But if it's in the middle of laying season and you're noticing that you have a chicken that is normally very nice and red looking and they're all of a sudden they're pale, then you, you may wanna keep an eye on that chicken, especially if, the, if that is combined with other symptoms like they're, they're just standing still or they're droopy or whatever, okay? And this is a big one and sometimes you'll see when roosters in particular get sick, you know, they have this big comb and that comb will change color. It will be like almost purple and that is a big indication that something is going on. There may be an instance if it's like just super cold outside where a, a chicken gets a purple comb for a little bit and then you bring them inside and then they're fine. But normally that's an indication that something is going on. So I would at the very least begin observing that chicken. If you can take them to the vet, of course, that's always your best course of action. A big one is if their egg production is down. And this is kind of hard to keep track of, especially if you have a big flock like I do. Certainly there are times of the year when chicken's eggs production goes down naturally. But if you have a chicken that is co a consistent layer and then all of a sudden they're not laying, you might want to pick them up and look at their vent. <laughs> this is awful, but I like, like, I kind of think of a vent as like a mouth. <laughs> so it should be kind of like, nice and moist and you know pink and puck puckered uh you don't want it to be kind of dry looking and like uh, wrinkled looking that is an indication that they're not laying and i would definitely keep an eye on that chicken because something might be going on with it it could, it could also be that your chicken is just getting old and they don't lay as much, but you know, these are all things to take into consideration, you know, keeping in mind the whole picture. If you don't realize something is wrong in time, it is not your fault. A lot of times, especially with high production breeds, there really is not a lot that we can do. Those breeds have not been bred for resilience. They've been bred to lay the most amount of eggs they can possibly lay in the first year of life. So I just feel like I wanna mention that because I get a lot of messages from people and they're like, I just don't know how, I didn't realize what was going on, I feel terrible. And I've also had that feeling where it's like, oh my gosh, how did I miss that? But a lot of times there's, there's really, I mean, chickens hide it so well. And then even if you find out what's going on, there is, you know, a lot of times there's nothing that you can do. I take heart in the fact that my chickens have a good life. They have a better life than most chickens in the world. Take that to heart, keep that in mind, okay? If you do find a chicken that is sick, if you do realize one of your chickens is struggling, bring them inside and do the rest method. And if you don't already know what that is, I have a video that is all about it. It's just supportive care for chickens, okay? You should watch it now before you have a sick chicken so that when you get a sick chicken, if you do get a sick chicken, you will know what to do. It's on the screen right now. All you have to do is click it and of course, Course, it's a hundred percent friendly backyard chickens education and entertainment and I know you're gonna love it